So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that problem johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This is Herb Dean is our referee tonight. All right, so here we are back in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Truly an MMA hotbed. This UMS arena has been a host to any number of different historical moments in the UFC. And perhaps some more UFC history here tonight, champ. In one of the biggest moments for women Brazilian fighters, Amanda Nunes. Oh, he's side leg kick and just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels i mean it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg so you land that over and over again guy will have a very tough time oh he hurt him again oh oh big left hand oh huge knee it's just a really high pace to the head. Nice elbow there. Oh, looks like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Big ground and pound. Nice pass. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Gotta find a way back to his feet.
beautiful ground strikes landed. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Get up, get up, get up. Working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, and the high kick lands. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film. It's game. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kiss. His misses are entertaining. Circling away towards the left. Oh, nice. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Straight punch. Nice defense there. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now on his life. And if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.